It's Bob and Tom Tonight, starring Chick McGee, Christy Lee, Josh Arnold, Ace Cosby, Pat Godwin, Willie Griswold, and Tom Griswold. Let's continue with our animal hunk, Christy. Elephants are not human beings with constitutional rights, according to the New York State Court of Appeals. They Uh ruled this yesterday. (sighs) The Non-Human Rights Project had challenged the Bronx Zoo's confinement of Happy, a 41-year-old pachyderm. After several of her companions have died, she and Patty, who they do not get along, are the only two remaining (laughs) elephants at the zoo. The advocacy group had argued that the situation amounted to cruel confinement and Happy, as an intelligent being, should be able to sue under habeas corpus rights against improper detention. (laughs) Can Happy uh, speak Latin? (laughs) Habeas corpus. But as you heard, New York's top court has disagreed. Yeah. Jeez. Hey, welcome to the Bronx Zoo. Don't touch nothing. So who was going to get the money? Well, the whole thing is ridiculous. Of course it is. I mean, if, I hope that I hope they treat the elephant properly, but giving the elephant civil rights seems to be a little. Uh, uh, I, the, the elephant. Uh, I, I I take the Fifth Amendment. Um, who knows? Um, maybe <laughs> maybe they should rename Happy. Maybe the, yeah. The Sad. Oh, oh, can Aww. you grab that? Hello. Bob and Top Show. Hey, Bob and Tom. It's Jumbo. Yeah, hey, Jumbo. Hey, Harry, oh. we, stri- we stripped you of your rights, Jumbo. Oh, man, this is so ridiculous. Keeping a gray man down, I tell you what. Listen, did you hear? Here's why that whole court case is just a scam, man. Okay. Oh, so, so Happy goes in there, you know, they're going to gonna do the whole thing. First thing, put your hand on the Bible and swear. <laughs> Squish. You're right. Oh. <laughs> you know, it's not our fault you got a teeny weeny little Bible and even teeny weenier little bailiff. <laughs> Squish. <laughs> oh, man. What's your favorite amendment? Oh, God. 21st, I, I assume. Them all. There's so many of them. I would have to say, gosh, probably. I want to say that one where um, the uh, thou shalt not kill. That's a good one. That's a commandment. Oh, I amendment would be like the Twenty First Amendment. I thought that was prohibition. Just, a, just a suggestion. Fifth really. Amendment. You're right. Okay. okay. Well, thanks. Thanks, Jumbo. Uh, what are you guys up to? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> we're getting tattoos right now. Oh man, somebody, somebody needs to get one. <laughs> this is a really good one. You, you tattoo elephant ears on each of your lower thighs. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh huh. Right down in there, mm-hmm. and then a couple of eyeballs mm-hmm. just oh, yeah. above there. Hey Jessica, you get it? Cause that means it looks just like the the, the you got an elephant trunk instead of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, not not for Jessica yeah, necessarily. No, yeah, okay, I hang up the phone. Yeah. Oh no, that looks like an elephant. Yeah, thanks very much. <laughs> <laughs> So-called soft swinging is becoming a more popular thing among po- couples after going viral on TikTok. This is according to the New York Post, soft swinging or soft swapping, similar to traditional swinging, but intercourse off the table. Oh. What? Oh, on the bed? Hank and Cle- <laughs> Hey, you want to go watch Netflix with someone you don't know? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's everything but the... Hank and Cleo, a New Jersey couple yeah, who engages it's, it's in... It's everything but the old Hank and Cleo. Stop swapping. <laughs> told the, the Post that their escapades may have brought them closer together. Cleo said, quote, I, I feel it. more people would be happier and happier in their marriages if they just opened them up a little. So all, the, all the jealousy without the penetration. <laughs> so what are they doing? Making out, probably. Hand a little stuff. over the hand, yeah. Having yeah. a mouth party. Yeah. Over, the, uh, party. over the waistband handy, you Ter- know. Terrible idea. Okay, why are you so... Oh, so you're into it? No, but you are so. I wanna, mm. I wanna talk to the guy who came up with this idea who has to put up with because you know it was a guy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 Mr. Free Thinkers. Uh huh. Oh, you just. Chick and I, uh, Chick and I don't do agree this. on much, but we've always uh, there's there's that male fantasy of the three way that has yeah. never crossed my. That's the worst idea. I can't play zone. I won't do it. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I can't, can't play zone. Yeah, one on one. Yeah, I, it's, I can. One on one. I'm really good at disappointing one person at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind disappointing two women at once. (laughs) Oh, you would do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Have you discussed that with your... uh, Are you married? Are you married? No. I mean, yeah, I might as well be. (laughs) Yeah, I have no issue with it. Have you ever had a a friend 
who sh- insists on showing you their ex- escapades every now and then with, with two girls. Have you ever had that? Yeah. No. What? Yeah. Yes. You got a friend that does that? You have a friend? Oh, yeah. They Oscar take does. pictures? Yeah. No, no. They're videos. Of course. They're high what? definition. What? You asked me to send those to you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's not Jeff, but he's in the same boat I am, I think. Yeah. yeah. And I, what do you... I go, No. Keep that to your side. I don't want to see your... So he hands you the phone and goes, watch this? No, no. He, he holds the phone and shows it to you. Yeah. That's, yeah. That in my case, anyway. This is a, a long time ago. But wow. Yeah, yeah I don't want to... I, I don't want to ever see that again. You know? And you know the, you know the guy in the video. <laughs> if you had a friend who was in the adult cinema world and they wanted to ask you your opinion about their <laughs> acting... Would you watch a movie would for Would you watch the movie for them and go, now I see what you were thinking here. <laughs> but just a couple notes. Maybe you'll yeah, hide see, that. Here's the problem. You're not listening. Oh, okay. I can tell. I can tell when you say your line. Look you, right here. You've just been waiting to launch your line. Right. You know that you know it's coming, and you got to spout it out. Look at your what, face. What you need to do is pretend you're listening. Now, and um, I do have one note. This might not mean anything, but you're a million miles away. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you need to be in the moment. Yeah. But I think on the, on, the, on the plus side, that is one swell erection. Yes. Uh, yeah, that's very impressive, Steve. But. <laughs> You got to start to be. Ace, impressed. do you have that fantasy of uh, you and two ladies? I, uh... Some of us live fantasies. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. What's, the, what, what's the name of Ace's book again? Unreasonable confidence. Unreasonable confidence. Okay. Yeah. Those days are long behind me, though. So, how many did you have at once? Sorry. The gentleman never tells. Oh, well. Mm. Ace, had Ace has taken my round. Mind. Oh, that's fine. I see. Christy, have you ever. Uh, you're the God, one that seems no. to be defending so called soft swinging. No, 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 no. I just. I oh. had no idea. I'd never heard of it. Did before. you hear? Uh, Christy gave us her ideal threesome last week. Did oh, yeah. you hear about no, this? No, I didn't hear this. Uh, Chris, Orlando Bloom Chris and Hem- Chris Hemsworth. Or Johnny the, Depp. The big one. Oh, no really? kidding. Oh, no, pirates pirates as pirates. pirates. As pirates. It's a pirate oh. fantasy. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. I thought it'd be uh, Tom Hiddleston or whatever. Oh, yeah. You he's like up Tommy. there, too. Yeah. Loki. He got engaged. I sent you. Uh, I know. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, um, like I had in so called soft swinging is. Softness, the key to everything here? Non penetrative sexual relations outside of one's marriage. Everything but. What about the other way? The uh, devil's triangle, if you will. Two guys and a girl. You've never done that? No, oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> look at the disgust. God, no, look at it. <laughs> I didn't mean to give you the will. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Hey, Steve, uh-huh. your turn. I won the toss. Oh, so. <laughs> all right. When you say it like the, that. <laughs> the home team elects to receive. <laughs> no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Hey, Steve, you know when you were, uh, you know, I went out in the kitchen, made myself a sandwich, <laughs> came back. <laughs> I was watching there for a while. Uh, I'm one on one. That's... Now, didn't we? Wait a second, Pat. Hold on a second. I'm going to put you on the spot. Oh boy. We had a story, and I'm not prepared for this. I'll have to dig it up. We had a story. I want to say. Don't feel bad about putting them on the spot. As a matter of fact, we should do a song right here. What? Okay. Your hint, Pat, is it was a German. It was a German sex club, and they had a fire. Yeah. And they had to, remember this? And they all had to evacuate, and there were all these half-naked uh, people on the streets. Yeah, it was this private uh, neighborhood kind of a thing. Do you remember the song? I do, yeah. You, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. It sounds like he's ready to go. Well, you're it. more prepared than I am, because I've got to find the story. It was uh, it, it was somewhere in Germany, some relatively small town. But what have you got over there? I got something for you. <laughs> There's a little club. In our neighborhood, yeah. I begged my wife to go there. She finally said she would. We gave the secret password. They opened up the door. Naked people everywhere, rolling on the floor. And they were swinging. <laughs> swinging. They were swinging. Swinging. We stepped inside. Next thing I know, my wife's completely bare in a pile of people. Met her legs up in the air. Just a swinging. <laughs> swinging. swinging. Yeah, she was swinging. <laughs> Just then my neighbor's wife shot me a wink. She stood there by the keg. Man, that frau could drink. We guzzled down our beers. My speech was getting slurred. Then she took off her top and unleashed her Hindenburgs. Und sie war schwingen. Schwingen. Mein Gott, sie war schwingen. <laughs> schwingen. I looked down at mine schwans, but it wouldn't do a thing. Too much St. Pauli girl, and it will not go schwing. It wasn't schwingen. <laughs> My wife's still stinging. Her father. Oh. McNugan must be swinging. <laughs> She's still swinging, Tom. Oh, that's nice. 
Donka. Yeah. Yeah, it was close. Here it is. Uh, here's the story. Yep. Um, a self-described swingers club in Germany was evacuated after the carbon monoxide alarms went off. Yep. Firefighters in the town of Hattingen said about 300 swingers. <laughs> That's, that's a, a lot party. of people. Ah, wow. That is. I'm surprised that's the population of Hattingen. It was a Saturday <laughs> night in November. Many of them were only wearing bathrobes. They had to be uh, treated by first aid workers. Um, uh, no dangerous levels of carbon monoxide were found in any of the people once they had evacuated. So there you go. Uh, if you've got love trouble, we can try to help anyway. That's what we do here. Um, and um, we'll look forward to talking with Allie. She is a, a comedian um, living in uh, New York most of the time. Every time we talk to her, it's always a question, where is she going to be? Oh, there she is. Ah, right. there Hi, guys. She is. Wait a minute. Hello. I can't figure out where you are. Uh, that that's, a, a, that's a hotel. That's yeah, a hotel. that's a hotel. Nobody has. Yep. Look, I'm saying Florida, the, though. The heater slash air conditioner there on the wall. I know, yeah. exactly. And the lovely tile and yeah. that, that rug that doesn't go with anything. I'm sorry. <laughs> Those are nice lights. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um, yeah, like your... the light. It's very, yeah, soft lighting here. Yeah. Uh, where, where are you exactly? I'm in Cape Cod. Uh, Cape yeah. Cod. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Cape I'm God. going, I'm going <laughs> to the Cape. Uh, uh. Hyannis Port. Do so you, I, I have a question and you can't lie about this. Shut him. Do you rob what? banks? Can you tell me? <laughs> or, I mean, it's okay if you do, but. I do it to my side gig. All right, no <laughs> Everyone problem. Everyone needs something. Well, <laughs> Ali, I saw your car got towed the other day. Like, oh, my God. Crazy. How horrible is that? Yeah, I illegally parked at like 11 at night, and I got out at 1 a.m. of a club downtown, and my car was gone. Oh. I thought they would have gave you a little bit more time. It's yeah. Like a couple hours. They're like, the, they're like ninjas in nope. New York. They will grab uh, your car. Well, the problem is you, the, you actually parked. What you needed to do was pull up, <laughs> turn your flashers on, and go in the building. <laughs> yes. No problem. That. <laughs> get a get a that, sign saying uh, clergy on duty. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, clergy. They would not care. They'd nab you. How much? How well. much was it to get the car back? Three hundred and fifty dollars. Are See? you wow. sure you don't rob banks? See. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's get to our letters. Uh, we uh, once again um, we have irresponsible suggestions for your love life. Absolutely. Let's, let's go. Dear Allie, I just started dating a girl I really like. Recently, a really hot girl kept trying to flirt with me privately on Instagram. <laughs> I responded to the first message or two. And then when I really looked at the account, I started to realize it's fake. And now I think it's actually my girlfriend testing me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get out. That is. Get out. <laughs> the account has very few pictures and a few people it follows are people she knows. So I don't know what to do. If I bring it up, I sound crazy, right? But if it really is her, then she's crazy and I should get out. How should I handle this? She's crazy. Get out. I think you just act like you already know for sure it's her. And you just start sending messages to her like, hey, and just start calling her by, you know, her name. Oh, like no, that's, no, that, that, no, no, that's yeah. no fun. you got to get in the game here. No, 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 no. Don't play set games. Up a meet, set up yeah. a meeting place or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Or you yeah. could do, or you could do start something. Start offering some really freaky stuff to do. Yeah. Act you like could, you have you, some strange. You could put her on the spot by saying, I've got a friend that's perfect for you. You, know, you, oh, you, yeah. you create another lie. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, this is great. And, and, and now see what she does. Relationships when you, when, when based go, hey, on listen, lies never not fail. Yeah, I've, I've, got a, I've got a friend of mine. Uh, he, he, he No, <laughs> Tom's this. ideas will work because you can make a new account and then start, you know, messaging her with that fake account. What is this? This is oh, yeah. too much work for what? <laughs> and then you suggest a double date. Go all in. Yeah, this 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 is rapidly becoming a really good Hallmark. This movie. is like <laughs> this is like the new version of the Pina Colada song yeah, yeah. or whatever. We're yeah. at the end that they get together because they're they've been talking to each other the whole time. Yeah, yeah and it turns out it's a yep. And they're either going to kill each other or they're going to be happily ever after, right? Yeah. I think <laughs> the first response we had was, "Yeah, she's nuts." She's nuts. Yeah, she she's doesn't trust you. She's got trust issues. Well, what would Josh say if he was here? He would say, communicate. Talk to her. <laughs> ask her. Communicate. Say, hey, I got this from some woman. I'm, she must be a real bitch. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And then she goes, oh, my God, it's me. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could just act like the greatest guy in the world, too, and just be like, I have a girlfriend I love so much. I'm so sorry that, you know, this isn't going to work out between us and just act like the hero. But then he'll oh, know yeah, he's with I the crazy person. Yeah, you're still with the crazy. And right. then you still break up with her. 
Or you could just invite her to have a threesome with you and your girlfriend. Ooh, yeah. And see how, how that works. Was and then on the, on the off chance that you were wrong, and it is somebody else, yeah, the, all the of a sudden, the, yeah. I believe that's, that's a win-win. The worst that can happen is you're up to your neck in a three-way. That's the worst that can happen. Oh, my. Dear Allie, my boyfriend got me a sex toy to spice things up in bed, yeah, and he yeah. got one that's huge and vibrates like 12 different ways. Uh, <laughs> the deluxe. That's right. I like to go first class with my broad. <laughs> Damn right. Give me the best one you get. <laughs> he splurged. Oh, my gosh. At first, I was really freaked out. And I wouldn't go near it. We laughed about it. But uh -oh. then once I gave it a try, I became obsessed with it. And now yeah, I you use did. it all the time. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, now regular did. sex without it is honestly disappointing. Oh, no, I, I don't know if I should this. ask him to just get more toys. Son of yeah. a bitch. Oh. I don't know if I should just ask him to get more toys or try to handle him myself and use the toys when he's not around. I never wanted to be this girl, but I can't help it. Well, if you oh, use man. a toy too much, does it not change kind of your senses, I guess, or your nerves and what they expect? That's uh, what I think. I think you can make yourself like, uh, you know, whatever, unsensitive to regular sex. Right. You have a giant well, thing vibrating all the time. Ronnie's oh. good, but he's not this good. There's <laughs> <laughs> no 79. Ever, ever since I got the four-stroke... <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! The, 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 the penetrator six thousand. Oh. Yeah, he just can't compete. Um, yeah, maybe just try to go cold turkey without using that yeah, thing for a while, and right. then slowly introduce it. Uh, I say, buy him an even bigger one. Buy him a huge one that really scares him. <laughs> buy him one. Why something that he... comes that looks like it's got a case for a pool cue. <laughs> 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 something got to screw together. <laughs> that, that is. That goes against everything we're talking about. Case. I know, but it would sure be funny. <laughs> <laughs> that is a case. Uh, yeah, they have to do the opposite. Go smaller and smaller to wean her off of this, I think. Oh, yeah, good call. <laughs> Well, I yeah, they could I just think go. it's the vibrating part that's got her. It's not the other, but yeah, right. don't turn it up to twelve. Yeah. yeah. See, we combine the last two letters. <laughs> no, she, no, she, she gets the one guy, takes all his money, and go gets the vibrator, and lives happily ever after by herself with uh, the Jackmaster no, no, Seven Thousand. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> we at Jackmaster <laughs> want you to have a wonderful time. <laughs> Well, Who needs conversation when you've got the Jackmaster? Okay, well, Allie, um, another successful day. If you want to reach Allie Breen with your love troubles, it's A L L I B R E E N, Allie Breen, on uh, social media platforms everywhere. Watch the entire show live or on demand at bobandtom.com or listen live with the Bob and Tom app. And be sure to tune in next time for more Bob and Tom Tonight.